you've heard of plant-based protein powder. But what if the next alternative was made out of plastic? There's new research that could make it a reality. All right, Stacey Delcat talked to a scientist about the process that could help fight hunger and pollution. Food shortages are worsening around the world, and the plastic pollution crisis continues to intensify. What if there was one solution to both of these problems? A Michigan scientist thinks there could be. What we're trying to do is to use microbes to take plastic and other inedible plant material and turn that into something that's nutritious. The idea is to turn components of plastic into protein and other nutrients like fats and sugars. If that sounds kind of gross to you, well... I don't want to eat plastic either. What we're trying to do is to take that plastic and turn it into something completely different. Steve so Techman, an environmental microbiologist and an associate professor at Michigan Technological University, and his colleagues were just honored with a more than $1 million Future Insight Prize from a German company that will allow them to delve deeper into their research. Techman says their process works by using microbes to break down the plastic completely. And in the end, all we're left with are microbial cells. And those cells are made up of a lot of the same things in the food that we eat, proteins, lipids, sugars, and, and vitamins. Techman says the resulting cells, once dried out, are a powder resembling brown sugar. And he says the full conversion takes just about a day. Which I think is pretty exciting because plastics in the environment can take years to break down. And so the fact that we can break plastics down in a day is, is, is pretty cool, I think. It'll likely be a few years at least before turning plastic into protein or other food becomes a reality. And even when it does, the scientists say they envision that the end product is going to be used for something more like emergency food rations than something you would find on the grocery store shelves. In Manhattan, I'm Stacey Delacat, Fox 5 News.